special hello to my friend. Hi, it's Kerry. Today I'm showing you lots of sharks, whales, fish and other sea animals. Stay for the fun ending. Give a thumbs up if you like sharks and whales. Please help me get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year by subscribing to me. Thank you. And there's a fun ending today. Can you tell me how many orcas in today's video? The cow nose ray. To find prey, they stir up the bottom with their wingtips or noses. They can also suck water and sand into their mouths and blow it out through their gills or flap their wings rapidly to uncover prey in the sand. They eat shellfish, lobster, crabs and fish. They have very strong teeth arranged in flat plates that can crunch hard-shelled prey. The dolphin. Dolphins are very intelligent. They are often seen playing in the water and even jumping out of the water. They use a blowhole on top of their heads to breathe. They can ride waves. They like play fighting and occasionally swim with humans. They communicate with each other by clicking, whistling and various other sounds. The blue crab is named after its blue coloured claws. Females have a reddish tint on the tips of their pincers. They are excellent swimmers with specially adapted hind appendages shaped like paddles. To defend themselves they use their sharp front pincers. Large mouths can reach 9 inches or 23 centimetres in shell width. The Giant Cuttlefish The Giant Australian Cuttlefish is the world's largest cuttlefish and like many other cephalopods it is able to camouflage itself exceptionally well. I really like this model, it is so lifelike and it feels all rubbery too and I love those eyes. Thank you for all the lovely comments and smileys I've been receiving lately. I really like reading them and appreciate them very much. The starfish belongs to a large group of marine animals called echinoderms. Starfish are usually found in the shallow water of any world ocean and cannot survive in fresh water. They are not related to fish. I like to call them sea stars. Most species have five arms but some sea stars can have more. The blue spotted stingray. Notice the snout is rounded and the mouth and gills are on the underside of the body. The mouth has two plates that can crush crab shells, prawns and mollusks. Such a beautiful looking stingray as well. The narwhal is the unicorn of the sea. This medium sized whale is found in arctic coastal waters and rivers. They have two teeth. In males the more prominent tooth grows into a sword like spiral tusk up to 8.8 .8 feet or 2.7 meters long. Females may grow a much smaller tusk. The hermit crab is a small sized crustacean that is mainly found in coastal waters where there is more food and lots of places to hide. The hermit crab has a soft underbody which it protects by carrying a shell on its back. Its shell belongs to another animal. As the hermit crab grows they continue to find larger shells to live in. The pilot whale is not actually a whale but a dolphin. The stocky body is black or dark grey with a greyish area on the belly and an anchor shaped grey patch on the chin. 
it lives in deep waters and often forms groups or pods of more than 100. This is a mermaid. She's beautifully dressed and got lovely long hair and she's got shells as part of her clothing and seaweed as jewellery. Very pretty. Towards the end of the video, I have all my sea creatures swimming around in my aquarium. It's quite nice to watch. The Pacific Octopus. It is able to camouflage itself with its surroundings. Predators such as sharks, eels and dolphins swim by without even noticing it. I really like this model, it's very rubbery and got lots of detail and the colour looks beautiful. Later in the video, lots of these sea animals will be swimming past in my aquarium. This is Kevin my diver, he loves sea life, his favourites are the sharks of course. He's really good and the animals really like him too. The squid. Squids have a soft body. As a squid moves through the water, they stretch in the mantle area. This forces water through the funnel. They are very quick as well and agile in the water. When a squid feels they're in danger, they release a dark ink cloud as they try to make their rapid escape. Orcas are also known as killer whales and one of the world's most powerful predators. They prey on marine mammals such as seals, sea lions, whales, fish, squid and seabirds. Killer whales hunting groups called pods. They work together to target prey and are able to communicate using various sounds. Bull shark. Bull sharks are aggressive and live in the shallow warm waters of all the world's oceans. They are able to live in sea and fresh water. The bull shark, great whites and tiger sharks are the three species most likely to attack humans. Bull sharks get their name from their short blunt snout as well as a head butting their prey before attacking it. They are fast agile predators. The Black Tip Reef Shark. The Black Tip Reef Shark is named after the black tip of the dorsal fin that can be seen when the shark swims near the surface of the water. This species of shark can be found in tropical waters of Pacific and Indian Oceans and the Mediterranean Sea. They usually live near coral reefs. The Guitar Fish Shark Ray. The Shark Ray is also known as a mud skate and the bowmouth guitar fish. They are found in tropical coastal waters. They like to feed on the seafloor, eating fish, crustaceans and mollusks. The Moorish Idol lives in the subtropical and tropical regions in reefs and lagoons. They are very popular in the Indo-Pacific region. Their body is patterned with alternate bands of white, yellow and black. A very pretty looking fish. The clownfish. It coexists with a sea anemone which has poisonous tentacles. The clownfish keeps the anemone clean and is also protected from predators by the poisonous tentacles. 
the clownfish is protected from the lethal sting by a layer of mucus on its skin. The nurse shark lives in coral and rocky reefs of the eastern Pacific Ocean and the eastern and western Atlantic Ocean. They grow to about 10 feet or 3 meters and are a yellowish brown color. They have rounded heads and barbels that they use to search for prey and very small eyes. The leatherback turtle. Turtles are reptiles and have a very hard protective bony shell. This shell is streamlined to help with swimming. The largest turtle is the leatherback sea turtle. It can weigh over 900 kilograms or 2,000 pounds. That is big. Crabs are also known as decapods because they have 10 legs. The first pair of legs is modified into claws called chile. Crabs walk and swim sideways. They have a hard shell or carapace. The sea lion. Sea lions are marine mammals that have external ear flaps, long fore flippers and short thick hair. They can walk on all four flippers. They are very social animals and can communicate with each other. Sea lions can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes and swim up to 22 miles per hour and dive down to a thousand feet. The weedy sea dragon. Sea dragons are able to blend in with the seaweed and cope where they live. They are closely related to the seahorse and pipefish. Sea dragons have very long thin snouts, slender trunks covered in bony rings and thin tails. They are found in the coastal waters of South and East Australia. Sawfish are quite different to saw sharks. They are larger but have no barbells and their gills are on the underside of the body much like a ray. Sawfish are closely related to sharks. They have a long snout with a serrated edge which can be used just like a saw to cut through prey or used as a digging tool. The seagull. I'm sure you all know about seagulls and their love of chips. Mosasaurus lived during the Cretaceous period. To breathe, they would come to the surface. They hunted and ate fish, sharks, turtles and other sea creatures, including shellfish. They are named after a river where they were first found in Holland. The jaw opening was loosely hinged, allowing it to swallow prey whole. It had sharp, backward pointing teeth on the roof of its mouth to help force prey down its throat. The Megamouth Shark is a rare shark form. This is one of the three types of sharks that are filter feeders. They have a uniquely designed jaws and gills for it. The water and anything in it is taken into the mouth, then it is filtered out by grates around the gills. The water is pushed back out with various debris found in it consumed. The Tylosaurus was a prehistoric marine reptile. Its name means swollen lizard, referring to its shape. It was a mosasaur and ate fish and other swimming animals using its powerful streamlined body and four paddle-like limbs. It was not a fast swimmer, so it would stalk its prey and then use a sudden burst of speed to catch and kill the prey. Mesocerus was a large snake-like marine reptile. Their closest living relatives would be the modern day snakes and monitor lizards. 
Mesosaurus was a powerful swimmer with a long streamlined body that had adapted to living in the seas. They could grow up to 60 feet long. The long head had pointed, powerful 4.7 feet jaws and many sharp teeth. That's nearly one and a half meters. It had four short flippers for steering and a long powerful tail to propel it forward. horseshoe crab is also known as the king crab. It is a hard-shelled invertebrate found on the seafloor in warmer shallow coastal waters. It's actually not a crab, it's more closely related to spiders and scorpions. It has a hard outer shell, five pairs of legs and a long thin tail which it uses for changing direction when swimming. The orca, oh no he's got one of my crabs, give it back. Orcas use a technique called tonic immobility to defeat the great white shark. They keep the shark flipped over until it stops breathing. Most sharks become motionless when they're flipped over. Quite scary jaws there. One of the world's most powerful predators. Stay to see the aquarium and the fun ending. The great white shark. Give it back. Great white sharks bare their teeth and roll their eyes back into their heads when they attack, putting the shark's jaw and teeth into the best attack position and at the same time protecting the shark's eyes from claws and barbs. Great white sharks are ambush predators. They prowl below the surface of the ocean looking for prey above. Using its enormously powerful tail for a burst of speed, a white shark will shoot up and bite its prey while slamming it up and out of the ocean. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. Remember we've got a fun ending today and also I've got some of the fish swimming in my aquarium. And remember to tell me how many orcas in today's video. Thanks once again. Tsunami warning to all sea animals. And here you see all the fish and sharks and whales and sea animals swimming past in my aquarium.
press the colourful super foam refuse button to watch any of the videos just click on the one you want thanks again and remember to subscribe please